Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. Um, in, I'm going to demonstrate some issues and some workarounds when working with animated noises in Cinema 4D. So and to do that I'm going to add a displacer deformer to my plane here and I'm going to give it a um, noise shader of course. Um, and maybe I'm just going to bump up the displacement a bit like this. And now if I go back to my shading and give my noise an animating speed, an animation speed about let's say 3 and play it back, we have something like this. Pretty neat, but let's say you want to slow that down or even bring it to a full stop. and. The first way to do that, you would think, okay, let's add a keyframe to the animation speed. So let's do that. Go to frame 50, let's say, give it a keyframe and go forward to frame 100 and slow it down to zero and let's play that back. You see, the noise is behaving pretty odd and maybe maybe there's a workaround so this is not what I expected to see you know it's not like okay it's not slowing down it's just jiggling around and this is not what I wanted and I was searching the web for some solutions and I didn't find a very good explanation why the noise is behaving like that so what you can do is um, go back to our shader here clear that for a moment so and what you're going to use is uh, just a combination of two layers of noise so to say the easiest way to do that is to work with a fusion shader so inside the fusion shader you have the possibility to combine or blend two channels and even add channel masks to it if you want to uh, so in the upper channel we're going to add the noise of course give that an animation speed of well, let's say 2 play that back pretty nice and in the second slot we're going to add a noise as well uh, we're just going to give it an animation speed of 0 0.2 and let's play that back so nothing happens what you have to do is to use the uh, blend mode here, to uh, the blend setting, I, I mean, uh, and just create a transition between both of them. And it's pretty easy. Just set a keyframe here and blend at 100%. Go to frame 100 and bring it down to zero. And let's play that back. So with that trick you have a very good chance that you may create a smooth transition between two uh, states of your uh, two states of your noise so and um, you can even bring it down to full stop and that's uh, my idea to this if you have any further questions or any ideas about it to how to control animation speed of a noise um, then please drop it in the comments and um, well that's it for now thank you bye bye